Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, Big Talk. We're on that one, by the way. Okay. Big <laughs> We're on Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. This is Sherry Harvey. We're going to talk all kinds of furniture stuff. She's from Ubingers, and we're going to do that here in just a little bit. As uh, she's going to, she's going to bring me up to date on mattresses and how they have changed over the years. Because uh, apparently, apparently, my eighteen-year-old mattress is a little out of date. Is I that think so. A little I out think of so. date. Well, that happens. It is uh, Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. My name is Bruce Dickey. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. It's Wednesday, June 13th, and there are all kinds of things going on today and tomorrow that I've got the pleasure to tell you about. We've got uh, here on Wednesday, it's Kids in Motion. They are sponsoring a free skate event. That's today at Skateland Roller Sport in Fairfield. And uh, that'll be from 5 to 8 p.m. tonight with uh, Wayne Carey of School Age Children, Wayne County, pardon me, area school age children. Skate rental is included, but child care will not be provided. All children under 10 years old must be accompanied by an adult. By the way, we're, I'm, uh, I've got a, I'm, I'm going to be out tomorrow, so no show tomorrow morning, but uh, we'll be back uh, Friday morning with the Take the Points edition. And the reason I'm telling you that is because I'm going to give you Thursday's uh, community events today here, too. What else is going on today? Well, it's the Flag Exchange. And I'll tell you what, Frank and Bright has been doing this for a few years now. I think this is their fifth annual Proud to be an American flag exchange. It's all day, and uh, that will be down at the Frank and Bride Funeral Homes, and they, they will accept donations. Any, any donations do go to area veterans groups. And this, of course... And uh, whenever you donate a flag, they give you a brand new one. So it's uh, it's an outstanding thing, especially with Flag Day tomorrow. Uh, you want to make sure you've got a nice, clean, solid flag. Also, tonight at Clay City, at the Clay City Christian Church, it's movie night at 6.30 tonight. The family movie night showing the Peanuts movie. That's a pretty good pretty good one. You can see what Charlie Brown and Snoopy and the gang are doing. Again, that's at uh, 6.30 tonight, the Clay City. City Christian Church, popcorn, hot dogs, candy, drinks, all kinds of chances to win games and that kind of stuff. All ages are welcome. On Thursday, Fairfield Memorial Hospital holding a cancer support group meeting tomorrow night. That'll be at 6 o'clock. That'll be in the Medical Arts Complex Education Room. Also tomorrow, the Edwards County Girls Volleyball Team, the high school girls volleyball team, will hold their annual fundraiser. And that will be on the square in Albion. Stop by there. There's going to be pork burgers, pork chops, drinks, and uh, Dairy D ice cream. Bringing the Dairy D folks in. And uh, that will all be for sale. Leroy Moore, old Leroy, going to get out there and uh, get the spatulas out. He's going to do the cooking. Also, Tomorrow night, the Fairfield City Band performing at the Wayne County Courthouse. Band will start playing at 7 o'clock. Band's under the direction of Josh Livesay. We had the uh, rehearsal last night, and the uh, it should be a good show. We've got all kinds of adventure stuff. We're going to play some Star Wars and John Williams, all kinds of fun things uh, for you tomorrow night at the Fairfield City Band, which reminds me, tonight is the only city band. That'll be over at 7.30 in Olney at the uh, Cummins, uh, well, at the Olney City Park. It's the Cummins Municipal Band, and uh, we'll be putting on a show, and I can't for the life of me remember what we're going to be playing tonight. Is that a is that a bad thing that I should, <laughs> that, oh, that maybe right. I should, should try to remember? You, you'll figure it out. <laughs> I have confidence in you. Well, I appreciate that. I, I I certainly do appreciate your confidence. What else is going on tomorrow night? It's the uh, Clay City and Sailor Springs American Legion Flag Day Ceremony. That's going to be at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. And uh, I, again, like I said, it's Flag Day tomorrow. It's American Red Cross Blood Drive tomorrow. That'll be at the Flora Church of the Nazarene starting at 1 o'clock. Also, the Ewington Chapter of 
of the Sons of the American Revolution. They're going to have a program at the Flora Public Library tomorrow. That'll be at 6.30 in the evening, and it's going to be on 16 historic flags. So uh, do try to uh, make sure you uh, check in on that. My Let me uh, do a little administration here. My, uh, my, my, my thing shut down. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't run the show until I get the thing turned back on. There you All right, go. See now, now I've gone back to you. So, see, so, yeah. so the show is still running. Uh, I guess it is. <laughs> Isn't that good? All right. Uh, what's on television tonight? As you know, of course, we are Wabash Communications. I always like to tell folks what's coming up on cable tonight. Danger Island finishing up their season this evening, and uh, just when it was starting to get good, apparently, it's uh, they had an eight episode season. It ends tonight. That'll be at 9 o'clock on FXX. Also, tonight, it's Brockmeyer at 9 o'clock. That'll be on IFC. Check your local listings for each of those. You want to watch the Cubs today? They play at 120 at, uh, or 115 actually in uh, Milwaukee. You can't see them. They're on WGN. They're not available outside of Chicago. Doesn't make sense to me. I'm still, I'm going to beef about that every chance I get. Also, today, Cleveland is at the Chicago White Sox tonight. That's at 710. Tyler Bauer taking the mound for the Indians going against Dylan Covey for the uh, White Sox. That'll be on NBC Sports Channel. That's channel 643 here on the fiber in Flora. Also, the Cardinals back in action, the rubber game of their matchup against San Diego. It's Eric Lauer on the mound for the uh, Padres, taking on Luke Weaver for the Cardinals. He'll try to pick up the pieces after Miles Michaelis had a tough night last night. That'll be at 7.15. That's on Fox Sports Midwest. And if, there, if that's not all, tomorrow... The U.S. Open starts. You big golf really? fan? Uh, no, my husband likes to watch it. So, sometimes, so you'll see it. Sometimes I see it, yes. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> they've got about 40 hours planned of golf. Oh, you just boy. can't wait, can I you? I can't wait. Look no. at the excitement on <laughs> Sherry's face. She's just so fired up. I know up. nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> she is so fired up about the golf she can't breathe. Uh, but uh, yeah, they got uh, 10 hours tomorrow starting at uh, 8.30 in the morning on Fox Sports 1. And then at 3.30, they're going to switch over to a regular Fox. So from 3.30 to 6.30 on regular Fox, 8.30 to 3.30, that is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hours just on Fox Sports 1. Wow. And then another three on Fox. Wow. I can see you're just I waiting. You it. can't wait. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> she can't wait. I know she can't wait. Uh, well, we'll be back here in just a minute. You are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. It's on Channel 3 over in Salem. Channel 100 here in Flora if you're on the fiber. Channel 25 if we haven't gotten the fiber to you yet. We're working. We'll get you that. We'll get it there very shortly. I'm Bruce Dickey. That's Sherry Harvey. And we'll be right back after these words. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Flora. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your health care needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness, but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. 
Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to 1 gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. My name is Rose. Smoking caused my lung cancer. I was on chemo and radiation. They took part of my lung out, and they put this in me to drain the fluid. Every day I prayed that they would remove it. My tip is be careful what you wish for. That chest tube hurt a lot more coming out than it did going in. is very important to us. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area, and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. Morning, folks. Welcome back to uh, Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. I'm Bruce Dickey. Meet Sherry Harvey. Sherry Hi. Harvey is uh, from, uh, she's from Eubingers down the road here. And uh, we're going to talk about all kinds of different things. Uh, uh, we're going to talk about Eubingers. We're going to talk about mattresses. We're going to talk about markets. We're going to talk about family. Uh, actually, tell us a little bit about your family. Say, uh, Give a shout out to folks since you have... Uh, and you have several children and grandchildren, yes. but nobody is close by on, uh, nobody's watching on cable for the... For no, the, nobody's close by watching on cable. We only have one daughter that lives in, in the state of Illinois, and she lives up in Bloomington. Um, so we have our daughter, Shannon, and her husband, John, and okay. they have three kids, three, two girls and a boy. Okay. Tanner, Ellery, and Cooper. And they're in northern Illinois? Yeah, Bloomington. Okay. Um, and then Brandy is the middle, and she lives in a suburb of Seattle, Washington. Okay. And she has three beautiful little redheaded girls, and it will have her fourth beautiful little girl oh, in July. Oh, really? Yes. yes. She's coming up very soon. Yes, oh, yes. boy. That's uh, pretty cool. Yes. So we have Emma, Aria, Isla, and this one will be Zoe. Oh, wait a minute. They're, they're, they're going to, to a consonant as yeah. opposed to uh, the, uh, the, the vowels? It's difficult after a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, when you're yelling at them, from, uh, they, you kind of need the, uh, the the hard consonants. You're exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. Right. And then our our youngest, Trenton, he uh, just got married in April. Okay. Um, and he lives in California. So. How about that? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, and uh, of course, Jeff. Yes, my husband, Jeff. Yes, Jeff Harvey. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, so hi, hi, everybody. Hope I'm you're... sure he's watching. <laughs> well, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. You say hi to the kids. Hi, <laughs> <Go lie>, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Sherry. This uh, this uh, U Bingers Furniture that's the epitome to me of a family business, isn't it? it? Is. I mean, you have it been is. there forever and ever. Yes. Um, uh, this Tell me is a little our, history. This is our 40th anniversary of the store. Really? Um, I of course worked for him as a teenager. You just dad made you work. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you yeah. just worked yeah. for him, um, and then left and did other things. But came back to work for him when mom was going to have her first knee replacement. And that was 29 years ago. Did you, when you came back, was it, a, in, did you intend to be there for no. ever? What were you, what were you doing at the time? Oh, I had just been, I was a secretary working at one of the factories. Uh -huh. And, uh, but like I said, mom was having this surgery. I was actually pregnant with uh, 
Trenton. And so Wait a minute. Trent's twenty nine? He's twenty eight, yeah. But oh my gosh. I yes, I know. Believe. I know. And that's the see how time flies. <laughs> I've known you ten years. I, I, I've known you since that boy was in high school, I guess. I didn't realize it was that long. Oh, oh yeah, wow. yeah. All right. So so anyway, it, it was it was nice because I knew that way I could kind of be off with the baby more than I would with a regular job. I could help mom by doing the bookkeeping and stuff like sure. that and the advertising while she was recuperating from the knee replacement yeah. surgery and yeah. that kind of thing. So it worked out nice. But, yes, no, my intention was never to uh, stay that long. <laughs> and then I... We see, oh, that's the fun part. Even 10 years in, at, at that point, was was uh, Jim still very much involved or was it mainly Donna running the whole thing? Oh, no, Dad... Dad Mom was the advertising genius of the place. Yeah, she, she loved was, yeah, that kind yeah. of thing. Um, Dad was the salesman, the business guy. He oh, had okay. a business head. He liked to. He knew how to buy things right to yeah. uh, market them right, and yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. yeah. So they were they were a very unique couple in that they um, played off each other well. Really, you know, mom's strengths were dad's weaknesses and vice yeah. versa so it worked great and well you know the, the other cool thing is they were smart enough to realize that yes yes and they so they worked well together which uh, couples for that long of a period of time they actually started working together before the furniture store oh well now was that when he was selling the, the uh, rvs mm -hmm. the campers yeah dad had shell gas station first which is across from the dairy queen is okay where the shell gas station was and he would buy and sell things on the side people would want money so he would or need money he'd buy cars and trade cars and stuff yeah. like that and started kind of doing that and then started kind of getting into campers so he bought the building that's now dimaggio's and okay put across the street from where the shell was yeah next pretty door. close yeah. yeah and so then he had mom quit her job and come over to help kind of run things over there and he could run back and forth between the two so that he bought the shell gas station in 62 um I can't, honestly can't tell you what year we started, went into the campers when mom went to quit her job and did that. But then the campers, he seemed, he thought was fun compared to the gas station. So yeah. that's when they decided that they would buy property somewhere and put the house and the um, business together and just have the camper sales and get rid of the gas station. And that's when we moved out to the, to where so we're between at Clay now. Between City and you Yeah, and where we're Florida. at now. Um, so we had the house there, and then we had the one building, and then the rest of it was all trailer lot, you know, for yeah. us to have campers. So that went along real well until the 70s when they had the oil embargo. Well, yeah, people weren't buying RVs. They were getting five were, miles a gallon, were they? They were buying them, but we knew they weren't going to for long when they yeah. threatened to ration gas. Yeah. Um, so everybody panicked and thought, what are we going to do? You know, can't, can't be selling campers. People aren't going to want those. Right. Um, and so anyway, they went out of that and went into furniture. And and so then and here you are. And here we are. Later. Forty years later. Well, so you got in twenty nine years ago. Mm -hmm. Did how long were you in the business before uh, Jim and Donna came to you and said, "Hey, Sherry, why don't you try to become a bigger part of this and stick around?" Uh, well, when I came back to him, I hadn't been back but a couple of years, and I started looking for another job. Okay. And mom came to me and said. You know, it's a lot easier with you here. If you want to, <laughs> if you want to stay, we really would like for you to stay. And um, so, anyway, so I, so I stayed. Learned the gig. And learned it, and um, told them that eventually, that if they, when they got ready to retire, that I would be willing to buy it, and that way they could retire. So that was 15 years ago. Uh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I've had it now. Say, time just flies because mm -hmm. I, I, well, yeah, that's uh, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, talking here to uh, Sherry Harvey and uh, a, a family business from the start. That's uh, how, what has changed in the twenty nine years of that business. I mean, I guess lot, you have you've had to be kind of well, first your mom and dad, but then you since then have had to be pretty adept. At jumping from line to line, haven't you? That I guess that is the one of the most interesting things because, well, even when we started, you didn't buy directly from any company. Right. You, you went to a third party and you bought it, and and we would actually go. We only had the one building, so you'd sell if you had a good weekend. You'd be way low you'd on sell out. So Dad and I would take the truck and we'd go. We Evansville's where we used to go. Pick up and for the distributor. walk through. Yeah, to the distributor. Walk through. Pick out what we wanted for that week. Load it up and and bring it back. So then we started realizing that we needed more space. That we wanted more uh, um, inventory. Dad's right. idea was like the the Walmart mentality. You need to see more of it. You right. want. You don't want to 
it to keep changing you'd rather have more of it so we just started building buildings and and adding on and and going from that the first um line that we bought or bought into there were the first two lines that we went directly to the company the first one was flex steel okay and we did that because in the high-end campers the furniture was flex steel oh really and it had done so well mom was so impressed with how it held up in the campers yeah that we see that yeah that furniture in campers is entirely different from furnitures in a home because it's got to be portable basically mm-hmm. but hey it can't really crap out very quickly mm-hmm. but in the high-end campers they had recliners and stuff like that in there that were flex steel and she thought that was neat and so so we did them and then the other one the mattress company that we took on and it was because we did have a, a local gentleman from clay city that had uh, had built a factory in springfield and uh-huh. was manufacturing mattresses so he would call on us the owner of the factory because he would stop and see his mom in clay mm-hmm. city and then stop by and see us so we took him that company on and that uh, was that it is it's spring air okay. Benco is the name of the company uh, but they spring air is what they manufacture and we are still dealing with them to this, still dealing to with this spring day. air um and that particular factory that gentleman has passed away now but it's his daughter son-in-law and grandson that are running that factory that we get the those mattresses out of now and i think that's just still neat that another um it's another family business another family in another small town i mean yeah. even though it's springfield they're from clay city it's a yeah. it's a well the connections and we'll talk here eventually about it about how Eubingers is you focus on american made yes and, and we're going to talk about that as well as all kinds of other things like she said sherry said the 40th anniversary is this week right mm-hmm. and we're, we're going to talk a little bit about what's coming up in re, in regards to that as well you are watching big talk with bruce dickey my name is bruce dickey that's sherry harvey we're going to talk all kinds more things when we return and here on wabash catch tv channel three over in salem channel 100 here in florida or channel 25 here in Florida. Do stick around back in a sec. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your health care needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness, but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m., and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Florida. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. My name is Brett and I used to smoke. I quit, but not until I got a serious gum disease. My tip to you is, your smile says a lot about you. What does this say? Your call 
is very important to us. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area, and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Oh, best bet you can. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that's Sherry Harvey. She just offered to, uh, I'm not even going to tell you. <laughs> now, that, that makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. I'm Bruce Dickey. That's Sherry Harvey. Thanks very much for tuning in. We do appreciate it as uh, we're talking about you being your furnitures. Uh, you, you, I, was gonna, I, got, but I got messed up between furnishings and furniture. <laughs> there you, you go. You being your furniture. Yes. It's only it's a, uh, it's a it's the uh, plural without the s. <laughs> it's plural without the s. We're talking about all kinds of different things. All right. Uh, Tomorrow's Flag Day. We yep. mentioned, and we mentioned last time. You strive for, and it's 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 getting more difficult to it find American-made furniture, isn't it? It is because even the companies that I have that are American-made, not everything that they. Uh, you still you still need a level of quality. Yes. Well, well, for instance, in style. Um, some of our we've got England, which is American made. They're a lazy boy company, which is kind of a misnomer in itself. It's named England. Correct. <laughs> the guy, the guy who owned it. Is the guy, England. yeah. After the guy, okay. Uh, then Southern Motion is another one that we have. Now, uh, back several years ago, there was um, a at the ports there was a, an argument with the guys who unload the ships, and they did a slowdown where they weren't unloading the ships like they used to. Okay. Well, all of a sudden, my American-made companies still couldn't get their products to me, and I'm like, what is going on? Uh, you know, I knew the imported stuff can't get off those boats, but yeah. why can't? All the fabric, apparently. The raw materials. The raw materials is all made overseas. So you st they still are at the mercy of some of this overseas stuff. But at least I'm trying to use companies like those two as ones that actually have American workers that put the stuff together. I hadn't really considered that part of it, is that the, the uh, availability issues that can become involved oh, yeah. when you're dealing with foreign foreign made mm -hmm. furnitures and for furnishings and that kind of thing. And we do do Ashley, Ashley brand, and that is completely imported. And I'm not telling you it's a bad brand, but we do get into situations with them even uh, because it is literally made overseas yeah. and it floats on a boat over here. Um, if we had a product that's suddenly really, really popular, well, it'll take them forever to get caught Six up months. on it. And all of a sudden, you're saying they're waiting on this product because it just can't get made fast enough to get over here. That's um, fascinating. So it is. It's it's frustrating. Um, but, yeah, that's the kind of thing that happens. How often do the uh, do the slowdowns? I mean, I guess they had, was it a, uh, must have been a labor issue. It was a labor Zuma, issue. Uh, that's, those kind of big ones like that are rare. But what happens is, um, and we may get into some of this now, uh, the factories that manufacture stuff overseas change countries yeah. on a whim. Um, if they're getting trouble with the either the uh, say they're in Thailand right yeah, now, yeah, and, and uh, and Vietnam's a big place that a lot of stuff comes out of. Yeah, um, but if they start having trouble with uh, the labor there or with the raw materials or for some reason the government issues you have with those countries, all of a sudden they'll just pack up and move to another country. Well, then you're going to have a sudden, you know, break in time for before wow. they can get started rebuilding it. And then then I have trouble with you're in a brand new factory if you need to repair parts. Well, yeah, the, there are all kinds of issues potentially. I mean, how do you get a uh, how do you get a factory representative to come out and visit from say Phnom Penh, Cambodia, or something well, like that? They visit those big corporations that are building there. They're okay. not going to visit me. They're going to visit those people yeah. and deal with it. 
and I deal with within my company. But yeah, well, they, they, they want to pay attention to a place like Ashley and yeah, if they yeah, say you need to yeah. make it like this, they're you're going to make it like that. Um, do they ever have any problems with? I've always wondered about the. Uh, you'll hear the issues of, like a, uh, uh, oh, con- a container getting swept over the side and something, and, uh, and then you've got like thousands of pillows floating around the Pacific Ocean. Do you ever have contamination issues or anything like that? I have heard about things like that, and I, you know, I've wondered about things like that. I've never. Never, never seen it never seen it or experienced it but things that suddenly take extra long time you wonder if something like that has not happened and they're yeah. just not telling us that that's the the case that something that should have been here in three weeks that took six you know or took nine all of a sudden when uh, you've been uh, going to the markets for at least 20 years i mm-hmm. presume right so you, uh, your 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 mother was taking you and dad. your father mm-hmm. and your dad was taking mm-hmm. you um how have uh, and these are and these are what twice a year. Yes. Well, and there's the actually, buying shows. Yeah. I guess are what they're called. And right? there's there's more than twice a year. The ones I pick are twice a year. But like um, High Point, North Carolina has them twice a year. Vegas has them twice a year. Oh really? Um, so I was thinking it was one one time and one n- the other time. No, it's all it, it's the, they both kind they all kind of do the same thing twice a year because you are buying for six months out yeah. and what you're and really what you're doing and you know, i think i explained this to you one other time that what's neat about those shows is it's not you're not necessarily you're buying things you're helping them decide what they're going to make because you're going to go through because it's not made it, correct um so a lot of these are just samples that they yeah. put out there and they think they're going to be hits but if not enough people who go through the show pick those it'll never get manufactured yeah. Um, so it'll never go into the line. Right. So what the reason I like going to the shows is because I feel like here in Southern Illinois, I mean, um, rural America, we have a, a different taste than right. uh, the, they do on the coast. This way, I'm trying to help influence some of the things that are going to be get manufactured oh, yeah. um, by picking what I think my customers would like to see. Um, and help them get into the production. Well, that's a, yeah, that's a, that's an, a, a great way to look at it. Plus, you're keeping you're keeping it in style as well, mm-hmm. and, uh, mm-hmm. just making sure that folks are buying uh, what is uh, quality as mm-hmm. well as good looking for the mm-hmm. time. That's mm-hmm. that's pretty good deal. Talking here to uh, Sherry Harvey of Eubinger's Furniture. When we return, we are going to talk a little bit more about. Uh, oh, I want to hear about the anniversary. I would like to tell you about. Uh, that. I want to hear about the anniversary. We're also going to talk Matt mattresses pretty soon because uh, it, that's a great story how the mattresses because <laughs> mattresses change more than anything else they don't they? They really, they really do because the chair is a chair a wooden chair is a wooden chair <laughs> all the only thing you're going to get different is they might be getting bigger now are they getting any bigger <laughs> there now? are some of i them. figure they must be uh, we're going to talk about all kinds of different things when we return you are watching big talk with bruce dickey here on wabash catch tv that's sherry harvey i'm bruce dickey and we'll be back right after these messages it's my choice it's my choice it's my choice so many of our county residents have treatment or surgeries done at larger hospitals what they don't always realize is that they have a choice a choice to select where they can have physical therapy or any number of post-operative treatments and follow-ups the county hospital is your choice talk with your specialist surgeon or primary care provider and let them know that you want to stay close close to family friends and most importantly home Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in healthcare. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state of the art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Flora. 
Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Brian. I was in the military for 18 years. I joined the service so I could serve my country and see the world. But I smoked and I got heart disease. So a lot of the world I got to see looked like this. My tip is, it's hard to serve your country when you're too weak to put on your uniform. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Morning, folks. Welcome back to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. I'm Bruce Dickey. Thanks for watching. This is Sherry Harvey. We're talking about Eubinger's Furniture, and I know I, I promised you we'd talk about it. Let's, let's uh, tell me a little bit about it now. You're in the middle of an anniversary. It's the 40th year, isn't it? It is, and we've got big plans for the 40th anniversary sale. Um, one of the big deals, we're going to have our famous cash machine back. Your famous cash mm -hmm. machine. We did this. Tell me about, you see, now, when I think cash machine, I think you put the card in yeah. and it gives you money back out. That's not what you're talking about. That's not about, what I'm it? talking about. And like you referenced, you see these on game shows where you get a stand in there and the money all blows around yeah. and you see how much you can grab. So we, we brought this in um, last year once. And so now we're going to have it for, the, for our anniversary sale. So we're going to draw three names and the people get 60 seconds in the cash machine to grab as really? much money as they can grab. So there's going to be three minutes total uh -huh. of cash uh -huh. in there. Uh -huh. uh, now, I guess this is all probably, is it all fake money? or is it Actually, we did real bills. Real bills? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nice. Because it actually... <laughs> they float better than that. Oh, we, right? we tried with some of the fake money. You couldn't get it to float as well. I wondered if the if like monopoly money was not as crinkled or right, something, right. so it wouldn't gather. It didn't want to. It float. It was smaller too. You know, it didn't. Yeah. seem to float as much. Yeah. But anyway, so with this anniversary sale now, we have all kind of things marked down, all kind of specials. But you can you get one entry into the drawing for the cash machine just for coming in. Okay. You can go to our Facebook page, and we have a posting with a picture of. Jordan, one of my, my employees in the cash machine from last time. You go to that posting. Yeah, it's cute. Go to is that the, posting. Is the money floating all yeah, around? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, if That's you go fun. to that one and you like, comment, and share that post, okay. that gets you an entry in to the drawing. And then, plus, then when you purchase anything, the more you purchase, the more more, you're you going to get more entries mm -hmm. in. Oh, well, now, have, have you started taking entries on oh, that? Yeah. Yes, and we've started, like I said, the online entries are are, are going are going strong, too. Um, so make sure and do that. And then this Saturday from 11 to 1, we're going to have free homemade ice cream, too. Well, hold on a second. What kind of homemade ice cream? Are, are you making it? I'm not making it. You're we not had, making we it? We have a couple coming in that have done this before. And, uh, yeah, they're going to make – and they'll make vanilla. I asked if they made flavors, and they said no. But I'll have all the toppings we'll have. We well, see, now you're going to have – got to have – Sprinkles and chocolate. All right, your sprinkles. You're going to have the little chocolate chips. Oh, I have all kinds of – got to have the little chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. How about little peanuts and stuff? Mm -hmm. that pretty? Mm -hmm. All right, 
It sounds like mm-hmm. a, so you'll have to come out and have ice cream. It sounds like a good time. It, it, it sounds is, like a lot of fun. It will be a great time. It's, and then, like I said, plus these deals that we have going, people are so happy. The floor is is packed, and so that's. You were telling me a little bit about uh, we talked about flex deal. Flex mm-hmm. deal really does not exist anymore, does it? Uh, no, I uh, know. I, well. I don't sell them anymore. They're not the company they were originally. They've kind of gone through different yes. purchasers yes. and that kind of yes. thing. Uh, it, we were talking there the, that has happened to a lot of folks, and which which brings you back to basically looking for quality of furniture. Mm-hmm. And right now we're not going. Let's not talk mattresses in a minute. Uh, but right now you've got some exciting stuff going on with uh, your like chairs. Yes. Um, well, they are ma- manufacturing sofas and chairs anymore for true couch potatoes. Um, this isn't just, you know, these aren't your father's chair that sat there in front no. of the TV. And, for- and you know, um, there's been lift chairs forever that you push a button and it helps yeah, those are people cool. get out. Yeah. So they've kind of taken that and changed it up. Now um, we have, it started with just power recliners and I have a lot of those on the floor. Okay. You, you don't have to kick them back. You just push a button and it opens the chair and closes right. the chair. Um, people don't realize how nice that is uh, at the fact that it stays anywhere that you leave it. Um, ladies would have trouble if you kick back and try to take a nap. A lot of times as you relax, the chair wants to sit up. Okay. A power chair will because stop. Because of weight issues. Uh-huh. It's, it's yeah. weight driven. Yeah. And it'll stop anywhere that you want it to and stay Um, so then they took that a step further and so now i have on my floor chairs that have power lumbar they have power headrest people like me with bifocals if you've ever got kicked back in a chair and you're trying to look at tv and trying to now you push a button and it comes up and adjusts your head really to what you need um yeah and then almost all of those also have a usb port on them so you can charge your phone sitting there at your chair or your sofa no well you're you're, you're plugging a plugging mm-hmm. the chair in anyway yeah, yeah. so it's, it may as well have a, a yeah. usb on it yeah so now that's normal i mean i can get that in a lot of sofas uh and now the next generation oh this they, is sofas too the sofas have that too wow the next generation is it, heat and massage has been available in some of the chairs but these are the more um intense massage the real where it feels like somebody's actually re- massaging you um now Shiatsu, yeah even? yeah they're wow. putting they're putting that into not just chairs now it's going to be coming out in sofas i don't have those yet but they are on order but they are doing that now shiatsu sofas mm-hmm. wow so that's gonna man, that could, on the now okay will they be on just the back part of it or will they be on the the uh the cushions too it's the, usually the, the seat, seat and the legs you know your oh, leg, really? you know, legs are a big um, place where you have trouble you know people have circulation the circulation issues, issues. Mm-hmm. that's fancy that's, i mean you can you don't have to you can really relax now in your furniture uh um, do we have like uh, coolers and stuff? You know, they did those for a while and they've kind of gone away. So really? I, don't, I don't know what the problem was with them. I have uh, drink holders that are cooled and, yeah. and some things. I have um, some, they have lights that look like spaceships where you can you know, change the color of the lights underneath your chair and stuff like that. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Lights underneath your chairs. What, what do you do? I mean, just to like in case you, your your cat pushes something under the chair, you can get a better look to see it. I think of it more as like a nightlight. Like if you're they set them up oh. like a theater room, and you you're watching TV, and you want to get up, and you don't want to turn a light on, and you don't want to stub your toe. Yeah. So it, it's a light that shines from underneath. But I think it's a, a a little wild that you can pick pink or purple or blue or you know. But. Make it a uh, fancy neon, yeah. mm-hmm. the Bruce's chair. Or so. That'd be pretty cool. That's probably the next thing that they'll do. <laughs> you know it is. Yeah, I know. And we'll have one made just for you. Oh, you see, now that's so kind. Mm-hmm. That, that is so thoughtful. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, I wonder what the problem was with the cooler, with the refrigerator. Were they refrigerated, refrigerated, well, they were using or were they coolers that coolers. you could pull out? Cool, uh, well, cooling units in the arm of the chair. So I think probably what was more happening, if that... People were putting the remotes in there? Well, or if it broke down, it would be hard to fix. Yeah. Um, the nice thing about these, now the high-tech, the power recline and the all this other stuff, the power headrest, everything's turned into plug-and-play. So they've got that figured out how if one part stops working, you unplug one thing and put the new part on and plug it back in. So they've they've taken care of all the issues, but I think the... So, there's those, so you don't have to send it back to right. uh, to High Point, yeah. North Carolina, yes. or wherever to get it fixed. It's usually fairly easy. Um, 
sometimes we have to order apart, but it's easy to replace. I worried when they first came out with them. I envisioned us having to take apart all these chairs to, yeah. to fix them, and that's just not the case. You just you unplug the one part, plug the new one back in, and it's good to go. Wow, that's that's pretty fancy. That's pretty fa that, that probably makes it a lot easier on your delivery mm -hmm. guys mm -hmm. too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. How far do you deliver? We deliver free in a 30 mile radius and we only charge $30 for the next 30 miles. Okay. So, so uh, you get a lot of. How, how far is the farthest folks have come in to uh, shop at uh, U Bingers? Uh, I don't know. We've delivered to Chicago before. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And we've So you will. And we've delivered to St. Louis. So, there you go. Yeah. There you go. That's Sherry Harvey. We're talking about all kinds of different things today. We're going to talk about mattresses as well as because uh, the, the mattress. The mattress in, uh, conversation. By the way, did you see last year there was a uh, – I don't think you guys offered this. There was a company from Norway that was offering a mattress for $150,000. Oh, no, I didn't see that one. Yeah. You, would, didn't. You think, would you consider putting that in? Um, I've – Tempur-Pedic makes an $8,000 one. Wow. Well, see, not 150. No. You got to be really cool to get 150,000. Mm -hmm, you do. <laughs> <laughs> you do. <laughs> uh, I got to tell you, that's that. That better you better sleep on that 24 hours a day. <laughs> I don't see the value, so I'd have trouble selling it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I, that's the thing. I, I don't either. That's Jerry Harvey. I'm Bruce Dickey. We're going to be back here. We're going to talk about uh, a little bit more about you, Bingers Furniture, as well as what's maybe in the future for furniture, as we've already talked about what's coming up. Some of the stuff. We'll be back here on Big Talk with Bruce Dickey in just a moment. You're watching on uh, it, Channel Three in Salem on Channel 100 or Channel 25 here in Flora. Do stick around, and we'll be back right after these. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LamonsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your healthcare needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Florida. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. 
Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at Bruce D at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Brian. I was in the military for 18 years. I joined the service so I could serve my country and see the world. But I smoked and I got heart disease. So a lot of the world I got to see looked like this. My tip is, it's hard to serve your country when you're too weak to put on your uniform. Uh, that's good to know. Uh, I've got to shop elsewhere for my $150,000 mattress, don't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for horse hair in it, sure. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to uh, Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. I am Bruce Dickey. I am with the sensible Sherry Harvey. <laughs> Making a, a lot of sense as uh, we've discussed the. Uh, I look. I googled, of course. You can find anything on Google. I googled the hundred fifty thousand dollar mattress, and uh, there are, <laughs> there are. They're braiding and unbraiding horse hair to put in this thing. Hey, that's what. That's crazy. Um, the the mattresses, but the, you know, whenever somebody makes a an expensive mattress or even a less expensive mattress, the 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 thing the right now folks are uh, trying to find something that heats and cools or what's what's somebody looking for. Mattresses have changed in the twenty nine years yes, you've been there. Very much so. And what you were reading about that uh, real expensive mattress, you were talking about how they researched how to regulate body temperature. And right now in the marketplace, when you talk about mattresses, they'll talk about cool cooling gel and all this stuff right that's really not what it is and that's really not what people want because a lot of women will say i i don't want something that's going to make me cold you yeah. know when i lay down in bed um you want your body temperature regulated so that it maintains a, an even temperature it makes you sleep deeper and no tossing and turning okay so the materials really that they're coming out with now that's what they are researching that and they uh, they are so much better at that kind of thing than they used to be is that right now you have it you don't only have it in the memory foam you have it um there's usually a cover underneath the top of it okay. that has cool material and and then your top has so the, the moisture layer yeah. there's, there's a top layer mm -hmm. and then you're the, then another cover underneath mm -hmm. that with which is the 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 temperature regulating yes. area mm -hmm. yes and then your covers now are all like the moisture wicking um and that helps to regulate your body temperature too where, where so it's not just a so it's not just a case of your mattress being good it's also your bedding and linens and e that kind exactly, of thing. exactly exactly and then uh, to keep a warranty in effect you have to have uh, the mattress has to stay clean so there's also a um, issue you have to make sure you get a good mattress pad that also is cooling and, and moisture wicking and very thin because these benefits of this bed you want to feel them and if you go and buy a big fluffy mattress pad like you'll you'll see in most stores you'll think oh well that's great but then you're giving up the effect of you your body of your temperature of the, regulated. yes so you have to have a real thin but it has to be one that still um will not let anything get through the uh, you have temper temper peter i do mm -hmm. and, and i you, sleep on a temper peter i love you it sleep, uh, the, those are those are fine mm -hmm. beds uh, who was the first one to come out with the uh, the the uh, numbering system to, to make one side of the bed uh, heavier or, or softer than the other sleep number probably was the first one that came out with it um temper pedic did make one that did that and i did have it on my floor when they did have it um do they still do that Tempur-Pedic doesn't. Got away um, from it. They got away from it because people were, comp everybody seemed to have the same complaint. Um, you know, in, in a in a two side in a bed, a king size bed, say you want your side firmer than she wants her side. Yeah. What's going to happen when you put more air into it? It makes it um, taller. It feels like there's a ledge in the middle of the bed. Yeah. And then you feel you know, like one you're, side's one side yeah. harder than the other. Yeah. One side's and you feel like you're teetering on the edge of that. So you've lost sleeping space where you can't 
cross over into that yeah. that mental area. So people hated that feeling of, like they were perched on the edge. So um, we saw a lot of Tempur-Pedics because people didn't like that kind of thing. Is that right? But but now they do like the power bases. The power bases are wonderful. Um, you know, people who who have any kind of breathing issues, uh, people who snore. Power bases. You mean something that raises the head a- and the feet? You know. Okay. Yeah. Um, so now those have came down in price. It used to be really expensive to get them to do that. Now you can buy some really. Um, I offer some really expensive ones that you can. Some of them even have speakers in them, and they play music through them, and uh, you know things like that. But um, the basic ones that raise the head and foot um, is sells very well, and they're they came way down in price. I can get those about half the price I used to. Wow, that's before. cool. That's cool. Now, folks don't. Do folks shop mattresses like they shop vehicles or TVs or anything like that? Will they spend as much time shopping a mattress? I guess I guess they should, shouldn't they? They should. And the and the biggest thing is the day you wake up and go, I have had enough of that bed. You know, it you've not slept good. You've realized how long it's been that you've not slept good. A lot of times they'll go on vacation or something and stay in a hotel and all of a sudden go, oh my gosh, I slept better in that bed. Yeah. Then you realize how bad your bed feels. Um, so the, the problem is they do um, sometimes, you, they say in the next week they will have a new bed. So they don't shop them as long as they do some of the other things. So that's why we try to be, I try to make sure that my employees and I are very informative. Very it's informed. A, it's very informed. It's a tough decision, um, and I want people to be able to have all the knowledge they need yeah. to understand all beds have good and bad qualities. You need yeah. to know what you need in a bed and what you want. Somebody, you may just say, I need one. I want a really firm bed. Well, you really probably don't want a really firm bed. You just want to be supported properly so that when you wake up in the morning, you feel good. And There's no real typical, uh, may used to have been a typical uh, uh, time frame on a mattress set, but is there any more? Is there, tip, do they, is there an obsolescence uh, time frame on a mattress? Not really. A, a traditional bed, um, they still have a warranty of 10 years, and yeah. that, that was normal. That's what they used to always be. But people think that means it's supposed to feel the same way in 10 years. No, That's they don't not do what that. it is. A traditional bed, which not the memory foam, not all the fancy stuff, but a traditional bed, they say they, la- they last seven to eight years. Okay. Um, before they're not feeling, they're feeling so much different than what you bought, you need to replace them. Um, now, memory foam beds can last longer than that, mainly because you don't, if you have a memory foam bed without the coil units in it, um, you know, metal coils are going to soften and they're, yeah. they'll change. And so that's what makes it not feel the same, too. But a memory foam or a latex bed, something like that, will keep it. You told me something before we went off the air or went on the air that surprised the heck out of me. They don't make flipping beds anymore. They don't. And, well, and like I said, there are some companies out there that do. And, um, people, but for the most part. For the most part, they don't. And the ones that I have seen, and I have tried to take some on, but I'm not happy with the quality of the flippable beds. People, I mean, people, people think that they flip a bed, it's going to last uh, longer. Yes, yeah. but, but so they can get by with maybe not making it as as good as they, they need to. Um, but to get the temperature regulation stuff in it, you kind of need, you need to have the same side up, don't yeah. you? And you need the memory foam and you need latex or something like that. Um, that traditional um, tops to them have kind of an angel hair stuff in them. And that's why, it, there again, it's a polyester kind of fill. Yeah. That's also why people think those are hot. You know, polyester is kind of a, uh, it, you it can't breathe. Your skin yeah, or something. you can't yeah. breathe. So that kind of thing is what gets the body impressions. That kind of thing is what makes it hot. So if you do these other materials, you get the cooler stuff and you get, it springs back and doesn't get that same body impression in it. Wow. I got to tell you, uh, Sherry, I could talk mattresses for, <laughs> for days on end. I mean, you know, and, and folks, they probably ought to spend a little bit more time thinking about their mattress mm-hmm. than they do mm-hmm. because you're typically in the car. What's what's average? Uh, half an hour uh-huh. to an hour right. a day. You are sleeping on your bed. You're sleeping on your bed for eight hours. Mm-hmm. Eight hours a night, hopefully. And, and I tell people that that you're investing in your health when you invest in that a good bed because you your whole day matters on how you sleep. Anniversary sale going on going right on now. now. You got any mattresses on the floor? I do, and I have a lot of sales. <laughs> I've even got some closeout Tempur Pedics. So have you? And I do. Oh, there you go. Close out. Well, you, you can't do better than that. No, you can't because you can't have a Tempur Pedic on sale unless it's a closeout. Oh, is that right? Well, unless they're having a sale. Yeah. Tempur Pedic won't they, even let they you do. They monitor it. everything you do. Yes. That is wow. That, that that's uh, that's pretty good. Hard hard mm-hmm. hard management, uh, and also cash machine. Yes, we have our 
famous cash machine coming back for this. Ubingers.com. Ubingers.com. Get on Facebook and register or come out and shop and get registered. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much. That's Sherry Harvey. That's, I'm Bruce Dickey. That's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. We'll talk to y'all. We'll get a repeat tomorrow. We'll be back on Friday with Take the Points. Have a great, great day.